In this lecture, I want to talk about two phenomena that I find absolutely amazing. And this maximum is, uh, is clear and it restricts the uncertainty of those angles to maybe one or two degrees. And we can say that z is equal to the amplitude times e to the i theta. That so from the scale property, we can deduce that uh, delta of x has the Fourier transform one. Uh, that is. To use our understanding of random variables to create a model for noisy images. Actually a remarkable result. It says that you give me relatively sparse values of a function and I can, by doing these tricks, uh, reconstruct the original smooth function. I'm really kind of cheating because here I have pixels that have only one number associated with it. Here I have pixels that have two numbers associated. I'm going to have something that changes both with u and v. And here we go. Function on the plane. And uh, I'm going to denote that as p x comma y. And these are the contours of that function. We made the weak phase approximation saying that epsilon is very small. And what that means is that we can, um, we can ignore this part. And the same for this. This tells you what, what is the probability density of ha actually observing I1 through IK given the structure S. 